Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. So here we are continuing our exclusive evolution series. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. Let's start today's lecture. So we are talking about theories of evolution of life. In our last lecture, we have already talked about its first part and today is the time for second. The link of first part is in the description box. Today we will talk about the theory of biogenesis. This theory was proposed by Louis Pasteur in 1860s. This theory states that life comes from life. Okay, so Pasteur conducted a very famous experiment in which he used a glass flask with an S-shaped neck, that is a swan neck flask, just like this. Okay, and he partly filled the flask with nutrient-rich yeast containing broth. Okay, uh, then he boiled the broth to kill the existing germs. This process is known as pasteurization. Pasture removed the heat and allowed the broth to rest. After some time, he noticed that the color of the broth did not change. Just like this, the color of the broth remains as it is. So, the broth remained free of microorganisms. He explained the germ particles in the yard could not enter the flask due to the S-shape and became trapped at the neck. Therefore, they were not able to contaminate the broth. That's why the broth remained free of microorganisms. Okay. Now, Pasture had a duplicate set of experiments. In this experiment, he broke the neck of the flask and allowed it open in the air. After some time, he observed a cloudy microbial growth and concluded that life only comes from pre-existing life. In his experiment, germs were able to enter the flask. Since the neck was broken, germs entered the flask and multiplied and pasture saw the microorganisms grew in the broth. So this is all about today's lecture. We will continue the series. If you don't want to miss the series, please stay in touch. Thank you for watching my video.